Hi guys, welcome back to another episode with the cameraman. Just kept. Uh, so hopefully it's like from the last video you've seen, it's going to be a bit more improved where we can actually show what we're doing. Today is no exception with that. So we're starting in dining room kitchen. Adam and I are working. We're meant to be working in different rooms, but I'll show you the situation we've just discussed with a customer. What's going to happen? So I'll run you through. Right. First things first, I'm a realist, that's a, is he his alias, is, is he his alias on? Yeah, anyway, um, the customer before us, a couple of weeks ago, had the all the ceiling tested for asbestos, everything came back because that was one of the specifications we asked for with the job. Because of traveling with us, it was a bit more difficult for us to do it. Uh, the kitchen, for now, is staying as is. Obviously, we're gonna rewire the whole place, but this back wall is actually coming out in a couple of months' time. So we are going to rewire stuff. Initially, the customer said we can just rip out and do what we want, but they're still going to be living here, so we want to make the least mess as possible. Ideally, if it was just up to me, do what we need to do. We just run a chaser across the tiles, run a feed across. Jobs are good, but we need to run two six mils in, one for the oven and the hob, and then a spare one for the future kitchen. Three sockets, one single socket on the top for the extractor, and then just behind kit, there's a washing machine we've got to do on low level. The garage itself is on a separate supply, so we're not touching any of that. And then also we're just changing the three spots that are in the ceiling that are already there. So we're not really chopping the ceiling up too much. Because we can still access the cables from the floor, because it's all a raised floor, what we're gonna be doing, we've had a discussion, and I'm actually gonna do everything from the dining room side. So if this wall's gonna get knocked out, we're gonna run a new ring in. The ring is gonna be the dining room coming across to the kitchen and back because once this wall goes out, it's gonna be a big open plan kitchen. So the only thing that's gonna happen in the ceiling here is a heat alarm that's gonna be going up, but we need to try and position stuff as best as possible for once the wall goes out, everything sort of tries and makes sense and plan. So we'll go into the dining room and I'll show you what's going on. So Adam's parked his car on top of the table, which I've told him not to, which is rude. So this is the wall that's gonna be coming out. Adam's already in here, we're doing sockets at the correct height, for what we want as a kitchen. So it's 110 to the bottom, using the laser across to get all our correct measurements. So this laser as well is also set up. So on this wall here, we've got our three sockets across, one high level for the uh, fuse spiral, single socket for the extractor. So I'm gonna actually chase everything this side, it means we can bond it better, but obviously we need to prove zonings. By proving zonings, we're just gonna put Patrice's low level where the cables will run up and run through to come up across which will show to anyone in the future that there's cables running here because we've got an outlet point. It just means I've got a clean wall, I can easily work it, we can do it a lot quicker, a lot less mess, cap it, bond it, everything we need to do. Um, so that's sort of the thought process behind it. We can just move this table around, the laser's set up, so we can spin it round. My next plan is gonna be cut off the cable that's there, we'll just drill directly through each patras so I know exactly where we're working from here and then we can set the laser up on my end, set some patrices up, get the wall chaser out, get it cracking. Ready, Ad? Yeah, I've already started. He's already started. Ugh. tip as well so yesterday we obviously did the hallway and the lounge and we were going to bond it up but the HDMI cable needed changes so I thought I'd better leave it but what I did do a little tip is the bowl this is the water bottle I used to spray for bonding but I've actually added some PVA give it a good shake and spray it in all the chases so today everything's tacky we can get a nice fix into it's just a little top tip keep a bottle of this around in the van I was really glad that it didn't block the end up but it hasn't so. But yeah, sound, I'll crack on. In the dining room, we have chased all the chases out and 
this is the socket the other side of the wall in the kitchen. So what we're doing now is a normal trick, which is all round band. So five hoops along, cut it. And then what we do is kind of put something up to bend it again. So I normally get like a screwdriver or something. Let me flat head. Use that corner as a corner in between the third and the fourth. And then kind of bend it. So it makes like a bit of a right angle. You have to play with it a bit and then do the same here. And uh, this one's the awkward one. You have to like, I can't really see that, but you kind of saw what I did. You have to like bend it and then make like a little U like that. And then your screw will go through there and into the plug like that. And that will, once that's in the wall like that, you can put your capping in, oval conduit, and then fold these over the conduit, holding it in the wall, holding your cables in place. All right, and now once that's in the wall, what we like to do is get our cutters or long nose pliers or something like that, and just push into the corner like that. Oh, wait, no, then. Sometimes you have to give it a bit of persuasion, but now it forms a big U, allowing the conduit to sit in there, and then we can bend these over, over the conduit, secure it in place. And then we'll put some bonding over it. So Adam's just picking the boards up in there. We're just multi-tooling down somewhere we need to, picking the boards up, gonna find the stuff underneath. I'm coming into the kitchen. So we've grommeted behind you in the existing sockets. We're now putting a socket here. There was one here and down here, but it's being moved. Ch wall chaser up, multi-tool across the laminate here just so we can access it. This is gonna be our first point on the ring from the board. So the board will come up, across that hallway, through up, down, and then we're gonna start feeding this wall here that's being taken out eventually. And from there, it's gonna pass around the room. Last point is behind the door in the dining room, and that's gonna go back to the board. So we've got our ring in here. Once that's done, we're then gonna run a boiler feed, a 10 mil feed, two six mil feeds for the cooker and the new hob at some point. So uh, yeah, crack on with this, and there's pretty much all the messy work done for today, hopefully. in we've got our screws in all-round band in Adam's cut each section of the floor up we will have to brace these did not have a choice we took up sections um, like we did yesterday happy with it all the run wise what we're gonna do from the board it's gonna come straight into where you saw me a minute ago in the kitchen it's gonna be our first uh, point on the ring it's gonna come down loop up we've got our outlet boxes here in place 35 mil I, they can have single sockets on, but we will just put blank plates on in preparation for the, the wall at some point coming down. They will then travel up through each point we've got, back down to each one. Then gonna go into the socket, that will be a permanent one. So what we're doing is we're putting this wall in the middle of the ring, which will allow when the wall comes down, you can get the leg that runs to here and the leg that runs to the back wall that are gonna be permanent sockets. We can be jointing that through, that can complete the ring again. It's gonna link round the room, round, round, round. Last point being behind the door, and that can then go back to the board to complete our ring. So it's gonna be a 2.5, 32 amp uh, circuit. And then we're gonna sort of do this room first, finish it off. I've already been round for the chases. I've done the PVA spray to get a bit behind the conduit. Put the conduit in, we'll put a bit more on top. Once this is all sort of dry, now I'm gonna put some bonding on. All the stuff in the hallway, it's all about rewires, all about moving stuff around, bringing from one room to the next, to the next, to the next, because that's all you seem to do. Once this is completed, we can bring all the stuff back in here. That'll allow us then to get all our clear run out to the board. So once the hallway's up, we can then push the washing machine back, bring out the dishwasher, cut the floor up behind there, and it means we can link through all our six mils and two mils, at 2.5 mil for the boiler, and also our 10 mil for the water bonding as well. So it's all about processes and Moving stuff around, that's what it ever seems to be. So uh, we'll get this room done and then we'll shift everything around. Right, I've just finished um, riding this round the other side where Nick is. So I've gone from that socket all the way across, across to here, and then we're gonna rod to save moving all this and cutting all the floor and stuff. Just make it a bit easier. Could have done it, but probably would have took another 20 minutes. So. Yeah, and 64 more multi-blade, multi-tool blades. Yeah, I've only used one today. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. 
<laughs> you broke one as well, though. I didn't break it. You, you it was one that you were already using. No, it's not. Adam cut a bit of skirting board out there. How long did that take, Adam? Mm, five minutes. Kip, did that take five minutes to do that? How long did it take for you to realise we had another multi tool? Yeah, I was, I'm sat waiting for Adam so I could borrow the multi tool and I forgot I bought one the other week. So after 15 minutes of waiting, I finally got it. Yeah, so we're riding from here over there. Um, I've got these are super odd ones. Yeah. So yeah, using them. Um, so yeah, literally, I don't know if you want to pan down here, if that's what you call it. But literally just pushing it along because it's raised floor. Try not to whack yourself in the face either. It does hurt. Um, so I just let that drop down. And I'll just double check before I tape it on that I can see it over it. Right, so I don't know where my tape's gone, so I'm doing it the old way, where you just wrap it around. There's, there's nothing really for it to go through, so it should just work a treat, but we'll give it a go. So I'm just literally going to twist it on, then out, and then put the loop back over the twist, like that, so it can't really slide off. And then as long as you feed it down, it should be all right. So that should be enough to go across the run. So if I leave that there, lay it out so it's not going to catch on anything, and then just pull it this side. And here he is. Is it? Um, what I've just done is six mil. What I've done, if I open the door, you both see. So we've got the, both six mils, well, you can see one. Extended it out, because we've only got the little cable runner. Um, and then simply pulled it through all the way along towards the cooker and left loads of slack as they are having a new kitchen. So what I've done, put it around. We've got the loops ready, the Flexicon loops. Um, so this one's going to be either the hob or the cooker. So what we'll do is we'll label this one up. Well, to be fair, we'll wire them up and then test which one's which. It's probably easier because I've taped them together and pulled them through together. So they're nice and neat. So I'm going to leave this one here for a minute. Um, I'm just going to run and get the other cable drawn and I'll be back in a sec. So what I'll do is step on it. Not fully tread your whole weight on it, but guide it where it's going to go and then here and then it's going to go across leave a tiny bit of slack it's like that should be plenty so I'll cut that with the smallest cutters to cut six mil the little climb I think the little climb ones yeah right so now I'm left with the two ends what I'm going to do is feed it through through the flexicon loops down here and down here there's a lot of cables under here at the minute, which doesn't look that neat. That's because a lot of them are the old ones, which we've still got some power to certain areas of the house. So once we've got these in um, and the change over there, we'll rip all these old ones out probably. This is an electrician tries plastering. The bit in the middle, like I've said on the last video, was a bit loose, spoke to the customer. We've just pulled that off. This is only a bonding coat. This is a base layer for the plaster at some point to come and make it lots and lots better than I'm making it. I'm just making it usable, so once this dries, we can put the face plates on. It'd be nice and safe. No fingers can get in the back of it. Fill a bit of the chasers in, the best of my ability, really. I don't do this for a job. I'm not very good at it, but I'm giving it a go. is nearly done I don't really know why they moan so much and how they can get so much in a box I've got more on me than I have on the floor or in the boxes if it's only gone in the box I'll just go a little little tip for you guys you go and then it's out so I've got a bit left Adam's being slow crawling around like a dog as he just said on the floor I've got one more to do that's in the kitchen and then we can move stuff across but Adam's got two six mils in he's got two five in. he's got ten mil in 
Nearly there. Basically pulled off the board for you while Nick's plastering. <laughs> this is a skill, this is a trade, another trade that I'm good at. But uh, did you know that there's a phrase, you know it says Jack of... Um, Jack of Jack of all trades, master of none. Do you know there's another bit to the saying? It's... I can't remember now. I saw it on TikTok. Do you know what it is? No. Jack of all trades, master of none, but good at... Oh, I can't remember. Kip's going to find the clip now. Let's put it on there. A jack of all trades is the master of none, but is still better than a master of one. It's quite interesting. So I say to Adam, you know, measure twice, cut once, great. But then he now copies me when I say, oh, well, make sure you don't leave too much on the cables because it's a waste. And then he'll go, not my cables. <laughs> hey, Adam. Yeah, of course. Where's the conduit for here? You've not done it either, have you? I do everything. No, I've just done everything else, do they? I like what? Anything you've done is making noise. Yeah, that means you're working. Does it? Yeah. Especially our job. Oh, you've put plaster in this socket, you sacked. Don't you dare. <laughs> He's then in charge. I, I literally stand here to hold this cable. I, I just stand here and be told what to do. Can I do anything yet? No. No? Okay. I'm just stand here and hold these cables like this. <laughs> oh, God, I've got a cramp. <laughs> I can't do that anymore. Oh. He's walking everything down the road. We actually have cable runners for like this exact reason. And it's there. Hmm? Nothing mate, carry on. Just right. else. What? Do you want to try and pull it? Yeah. Slowly does wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me pull it here. Oh. Uh, is it a light colour or a dark colour 25? This is the light one. Is that it, yeah? Do it again. <laughs> so how like, slow Dave Savory like stands up in the morning this is. Do you need much more? Yeah, maybe another two foot, alright. Yeah, well. Twenty minutes later. It's good that wasn't it? Yeah? Yeah. Happy? Happy chappy. Right, so we just pushed the washing machine back because the idea is we've brought the cables up there and we're going to bring a boiler feed because the boiler's in literally the outer house while well, I lean to and then the mains water bonding as well. But we were going to pull this out, cut a square up, bring the cables up, but what we found here is tiles and concrete. So the raised floor must end somewhere here really so we're just going to cut a square out this floor's all getting ripped out and it's all going thanks mate so we'll cut a square back and see if we can sort of find it if not we're a bit a bit knackered if not it will be take one up under here and feed it under the plinth really there's no other way but we'll see the joys right our camera's letting us down and going home now <laughs> um to be fair thank you again kip and what Kip and I have also agreed as well. So Kip's gonna put a link to his YouTube channel after this and maybe some click stuff up here, you know, some of his work. Click, clip, click them. But Kip did say, if um, if you guys can go over, get him to 10,000 subscribers, I don't have to pay him to be a cameraman for this week. So everyone's a winner. Kip's a winner. I'm a winner. Adam is just a winner in general, aren't you, mate? Yeah. Um, so go and show him some love. And we're gonna just struggle doing this bit tomorrow. Goes back tomorrow, so we'll get another video another day. We're going to be going upstairs, moving stuff around in a um, occupied property, trying to do rewire and having fun. And doing downstairs lights from upstairs. That's joy. So uh, we're going to be a bit of a tidy up, but we're nearly there. We just put a few boards back down and uh, call it home time, really. And we're bonded up today. Everything's bonded. You've gone, got some footage of bond and everything. I don't know why I, don't know why I haven't asked. Kip's the best. Better than Jordan and Nagy's cameraman. Have we ever seen them? I know Nagy blurs his his cameraman blurs Nagy his face out. The Stig hat on. The Stig top. one, and, and then uh, Jordan. Jordan's one you sort of see a bit. Do you? Yeah. If I watch his videos, I'd know. I'm joking. I do. I do. I comment. Comment. You don't. I do. Yeah. I tell you stuff, and you're like, go and oh, look yeah. at this one. Look at look how neat Jordan's work is compared to yours, Nick. 
Corey actually. Corey, oh. do, Corey does all the work, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like you have not done today. Yeah. We've had a bit of an argument earlier. Do you want to tell everyone what you did? What did I do? No, I would not do. Work? Oh yeah, for a while. <laughs> so, catch you in a bit. Bye. Bye.